In this video, you will learn how to make a 3D object from image file using Inkscape and Blender. Inkscape version 0.92, and Blender version 2.78c is being used while creating this video. So let's start. I have this image of Blender logo, which is very low in resolution. So we are going to convert it into .svg file first. First, open the Inkscape. You can download this open source Inkscape software from the link displaying on screen. You can also convert image into SVG using lot of free online tools or using Adobe Illustrator. In this case I'm using Inkscape. Now go to the file menu, and click import. Now select your image file and click open. Click OK on the image import dialog box. Move this to little bit left of the page. Go to the path menu and click on trace bitmap. In the trace bitmap window, click on this colors radio button. Come down here and uncheck the smooth, uncheck the stack scans, check remove background, and check live preview box. Set the scans value to 3. Now click OK, and close the window. Now come over here, drag the top layer, and move it to the center of the document area. Scale it by pulling corner arrows while pressing the control key on keyboard until it fits up its width to the document's width. Now you can compare the old image and newly created vector graphics zooming them in one by one. Now select the old image file, right mouse click on it, and click on delete to delete it. Now go to the file menu and click on save. Now choose the destination, give a unique name and save as .svg file. Now open up the blender. Select this cube right clicking on it, and press X, and enter to delete it. Now go to the file menu, click on import, and click on scalable vector graphics, .svg. Now select your .svg file from the directory, and click on import svg. Now zoom, pen, and rotate the view until you can see it clearly. You can notice that the different colors are the different curves. Select the both curves right clicking on them while pressing shift key on the keyboard, and press, control plus j, keys on the keyboard to join them. Now press, alt plus c, keys on the keyboard and click on mesh from curve meta surf text. Zoom out little bit, and move this object to the center pulling this green arrow. Now press, control plus A, keys on the keyboard and select location to apply the new location. Now pan the view to the center of the screen. And press, R, X, 90, and enter to rotate it on X axis. Now press 1 on the number pad for the front view, and press 5 for the orthographic view. Zoom and pan the view little bit, and press tab key on the keyboard to go to the edit mode. Press, A, key on the keyboard to select everything. Now press 3, on the number pad for the right side view. Now press, E, key on the keyboard for extrude, and move the mouse little bit right and click left mouse button to confirm extrude. You can adjust the depth later pulling this green arrow in or out. Now rotate the view until you can see the front side of the object. Press, A, key once or twice on the keyboard to deselect everything. Move your mouse to the center block of the object, and press, L key on the keyboard to select linked vertices. Now expand this right side panel little bit to unhide some icons. Now go to this material icon, come down here and click on this plus icon, now come down here to the another little material icon, and select the blue color from the list. This blue material was created while importing the SVG file. Now click on assign button. Now press tab to return to the object mode. In this way, we have just converted an image file into 3D object. 
You can also remove the default material clicking this minus icon on the material section. And this was a very quick tutorial about how to create a 3D object using a low resolution image file. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, check up my other videos, and leave a comment.